Good morning, folks. This is not a professionally done video, but it's the best I can do at 6 a.m. in the backyard of my uh, house in St. Paul, Minnesota. A lot of times I think, you know, why didn't I videotape that? Somebody would have found it interesting. Well, this morning I've got my coffee. I have got a new sign that I picked up near Winona, Minnesota, and it's always amazed me that these signs exist intact because they're incredibly fragile. And today we'll be discussing what's known as the Ham's Tuber Bear, made by the Ham Brewing Company. I'm not sure if they technically uh, describe this as a vacuform sign, but it is injection molded plastic. It's very colorful. Probably made, uh, judging by the starburst cans that the bear's holding in a six pack, in the mid to late 1950s. So the fact, again, that they survived is a miracle, and I'm going to be just showing you uh, this sign and how I improved its condition just a bit. Well, here it is in all its glory, and you can see St. Paul in San Francisco, California. Uh, the bear rotates. He carries a paper six-pack, which is almost always discolored, torn, uh, somehow suffers in condition. But this sits on top of a post, and you can see repeated use has uh, made the paper tear. And what I've done here is this, very often the glue gets old, and what you can do is take something, thank you bird for your squirrel, for your commentary here, you can separate this, and what I do is take masking tape, and back the inside this both pushes this out and then I slit this with a razor blade but it gives you a little more uh, traction or room for this post to sit on there a little more firmly I did wipe this off this is in really good condition like I said this features these starburst cans here's the bear and what's cool about this is we're just pulling it up he easily comes off here and what you do or what hams did is you see these ridges that cause that makes the bear move in an irregular motion so it looks like he's rocking on the waves and that's what these are here is waves blow molded or injection plastic and he goes around and goes up and down like this but do you see there in the back uh, plastic contracts over the uh, decades which this has existed and what I do with these cracks is what you can do is after you take the bear out you can back uh, this or put those cracks together with I use a gorilla tape to kind of put them together I'll turn this around but what uh, you don't want here see it just you can't really repair them but it does put them together makes it a little better see it did contract and you can't really fix this I have tried to restaple these and it ends badly because the staple usually shatters or breaks the plastic but these were made in uh, Chicago and as you can see this one is in pretty good shape a lot of times they crack along the edges but one fault of this is it has pine trees and they always get broken off two pine trees in front and there is a no swimming sign which is attached here. I will redo that, but I'll show you what these pine trees are. Dimensional plastic, see? It's just hollow, and of course that broke off. But what's great here is I will be able to put this back one on, and see, that's what they did. They stood off the surface, so you can see why they were incredibly fragile. <sighs> it broken off. What I'll be doing to repair this one, which I was amazed, it was found in here. Thank God somebody threw it in here. But what I do is get this type of tape, which is incredibly sticky, and it conforms to the inside of this pine tree. So I will back this like that and tape this pine tree on. Not the best look, but hey, you'll only see it from the front. And let's see, do I have anything else to offer on this tuber bear sign? Here's another place they usually crack to is on this inner rim, but uh, I was pretty pleased with this sign still existing in this condition. And what you can do too to clean this plastic is use Novus or Armorall wipes 
and then a lot of times with the recesses on this you just put your armor all wiped down and you can use something dull like this not sharp to get in these recesses and that will clean the sign up nice like I said I'll be making remaking the no swimming sign and that attaches with a paper tab here so just a few thoughts on the hams tuber bear sign I'll show you how he goes on he sits on there like that goes around this sits on there a whimsical bear drinking beer from hams and that's the hams tuber bear sign have a good day and preserve and collect these old beer signs.